Hi, it's Emily. Today we're going to try the Novo Student Flute 2.0. So thanks to Novo that sent us uh, this flute and some others, but today we're trying this one. So it's the first time I'm going to see it. I know that it's a plastic flute and uh, that the pads are in silicone, so it's water resistant. So I'm very excited about that. Ah! And also I know that it's not as heavy. Um, so now I'm going to see. This flute is $180. It's available on musiciansfriends.com. Uh, you have everything in the link below. I don't want it to fall on the floor. How do you open this? Oh, you just slide. Ah, okay, easy. Just slide. Okay, here you have grease. Okay, so usually you don't put grease on a flute when it's a metal flute. You put grease on a cork of a piccolo, but not on metal. But here it's not metal, it's, um, it's plastic. So I guess you have to put grease on the joints, you know, once in a while. So you have that grease here. Apply sparingly to O-rings to keep them supple. Okay. Goes here. Okay, that's good. I see the notches. I'm not very good at those types of things. Oh, good. I got it. Let's see now. It's way better. So you have that. It's pretty cool looking, I have to say. It's kind of uh, nice colors, you know? I like it. And. You have this. Hmm. It's another mouthpiece. It looks like you just put your mouth here. It's a guide to help people. It's an extra device. Yeah. This way you get your sound right away, I guess. We'll try that at the end. <laughs> and here you have a little thing to clean your flute. So it seems like the, the fabric is linked to um, this part here so you can't lose it you know everything has its place in the case that's cool okay so seems like it plays well let's see So you can like you can see where to put your thumb here it's really uh, and here it's padded too and it's um so you can see where you put your index finger it's comfortable it's a bit wider than my flute I think feels a bit yeah it's a bit wider but it's lighter and uh, for $180, you know, if you have a kid that, um, like, you can't really break that, you'd have to really make an, a special effort because it's kind of, it's built tough, you know. Do you know if the pads get... No, they're silicone pads. It's good for a long time, mm -hmm. huh? Mm -hmm. they can't and the mechanism pretty. seems pretty solid, you know. angle here yeah yeah if you have gigs you know in a place where you're not sure about the humidity for your expensive flute or stuff like that it can be a cool thing to have you know 
And for kids, obviously, the weight can be an issue. So that light flute is pretty cool. I'd be curious to test the water resistance. Like they have thought about the ergonomics of the flute like there's a little extra um, key you know here on the pinky so that you don't have to reach so I guess someone with smaller hands could still play it you know there's even the offline G all those little silicone pads it's pretty comfy and like when you're a beginner you know you can play a lot of those pieces with that like Let's try it with my flute. Same thing. Like, obviously it's a different material, it's not gonna sound the same, but it's really not the same price either, you know? Okay, let's test dynamics, so. Let's see the low notes loud. That's not bad. And the high notes soft. You have a good uh, dynamic range. Okay, let's, you want to see on my flute. It's so different because it's not the same size when I go from one to the next. It's a bit uh, different. But you get used to it pretty quickly. You know, first time I touched it, I was like, oh. And now if I play this one a bit longer, then I take this one. I'm like, oh, what's going on here? So you get used to it pretty fast. I kind of 
of like playing baroque music on that. <laughs> yeah, it's not a flute that you can bring to a repair shop. Like no, none stores. of those cheap flutes are repairable, really. Because, anyways, repair is usually more expensive than the thing itself. I, I think this one is even less repairable. Because mm -hmm. the other one, it's metal. Mm -hmm. You can, if you're good, you might be able to fix it a little bit yourself. This one, it's really... But it seems durable. Ah! I think people use that in school with little kids, so it has to be durable. Because uh, little kids, you know, they're not the... Oh, they do their best, but sometimes, uh, ah! yeah, it plays, you know, it's, uh, anyways, like, if you buy that for a beginner, they're not going to play Paganini on that, you know, so. But even you can, adults can try on it, you know, like, whatever a beginner is. Yeah, whatever a beginner is, but, like, as a first flute, you can do a while before you get above your flute and like it's a good way to see if you even like it before you spend maybe thousands of dollars mm -hmm. on a flute. As we said, it's a good flute for a beginner or a B flute. It looks very durable and the silicone pads should be good for a long time. If you are interested in purchasing this flute, you can look in the link down below. It's on musiciansfriend.com and um, it's $180 right now. So be sure to let me know in the comments if you liked this flute and if you heard any difference between this flute and my flute. And if you liked the video, please like it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and see you next time. Thanks for watching.